Please don't be mad at me for disappearing for four months. Hi, welcome me, welcome back me. Thank you for welcoming me back to my own kitchen. It's been a little while. I, I missed you. I was at the grocery store. There was this really long line. And then I decided I was so thirsty. So I went to the water section and upon grabbing the first bottle of water and trying to hydrate myself, I realized I was in a dream and I couldn't actually make contact with the floor. I was just levitating in like a really awful way. And then everyone was looking at me and they were out of potatoes. Then I'm here I am. That's, that's, I've been a little bit busy the last couple of months. Uh, but I haven't forgot about you. And I, I know it might feel like I have. So if, you know, if I brought up some abandonment stuff, I, I did, I'm sorry. Can we sh hug it out, handshake? We've done a lot of potato videos up until this point. And I think this will be the final potato episode in the potato sods because it's time to move on. I have other ideas. I wanna cook other things. I went to Japan. Oh, have we talked about that? Oh man, I went to Japan, it was great. I couldn't eat anything. So I survived basically on onigiri and water. And so I thought we would do an episode dedicated to onigiri where I would make my own fillings and have a lot of fun with that. So that's what I wanna do amongst other things here in the kitchen. So today's our last potato episode, at least for the, for this series, okay? So join me in, in canceling this run-on sentence of a YouTube series that has caused a lot of strife, but in the end, it just brought us closer together. Like one big happy potato family. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a copycat of Taco Bell's spicy potato tacos. We're gonna make it plant-based. We're gonna make it in a way that I can eat it, but it's gonna be just as delicious, if not more. And I, you can trust me, because I've never tried that. So. I know, I'm unbiased, completely level opinion here. So the recipe I looked up is fairly simple. You need some ingredients and I'll just kind of show them here because there's not that many. There really is not that many ingredients. So you got tortillas. I'm choosing soft flour tortillas in the special gluten-free variety. I have my uh, plant-based QP mayo, maybe one of my favorite ingredients I keep in my home at all times. Keep this thing on me. You just never, never know when you need some QP mayo. So always rocking that. I have some upside down, adobo chilies and uh, chili peppers and adobo, chipotle chili peppers and adobo sauce. Say that 10 times fast in Spanish. And then I also have some Violife sour cream as well as our two Totskis and our violin cheese. So we are gonna get started by doing really, really boring stuff with potatoes, like peeling them. Um, so just leave it to me, you know? Look, you know, let me let me handle that and then we'll meet up in a few um, and we'll make some cool tacos. Commence potato peeling. And done. Potatoes are peeled. Thank you for joining. We'll pick up next week where we peel other fruits and we repurpose these potato peels to make a fancy handbag. Completely sustainable and disgusting. Thanks for watching. So one final time, okay? You know, per tradition and the instructions of every potato recipe ever, we are gonna cut our potatoes into little cubes so that they will properly cook. Otherwise, we're gonna be working with raw potato and trust me, you do not want that in your life. You can get sick and it doesn't taste like a Lay's potato chip, if you know what I'm saying. Shouts out Lay's, man. This is not the shape I was expecting the potato to be. This is potato the long way. While I'm cutting these, let's catch up, you know? What have you been up to? Where you been at? How was your Halloween? Did you dress up? Me too. This is actually probably what I sound like when I'm streaming. If you were to just stand in the room, damn, that, that scene alone would just take out a few Victorian kids. Actually, you know what I think of when I think of raw potatoes? Victorian kids, because that's probably what they ate. It's probably why they were so sickly and tired. So if you didn't know, and I'm not sure where this is limited to location-wise, but Taco Bell has actually been experimenting with more plant-based vegan products, which is such a W, can't even say it loud enough. They had a, a nacho cheese that was plant-based. They offered like a few menu items that were catered to be vegan and like, just keep doing that, man. You know what I mean? Keep doing it. 
We need more of that. Save the earth and eat delicious food at the same time. By the way, I forgot to put on my apron. New apron just dropped, apron tour. This was given to me by one of you lovely dinks. Uh, I was at TwitchCon a few weeks ago, did a little meetup and some awesome people came out and I got this as a gift. And listen, it's got a great little phrase at the front of it so that maybe just stop reading there because if you try to zoom in and read the nice little other words on this apron, you might cry because they're really sweet, heartfelt messages from my chatters and I feel very lucky. So let's not talk about it because I don't want to cry. You know, got some new foundation on. It's a hot day, even though today was really cold in the morning. Anyway, new apron just dropped. So trying my best to keep these pieces uniform size so that they cook evenly. But actually we are not cooking these anywhere besides a deep pot of super hot oil. We are not boiling them. We're not leaving them in, in water to, to kind of soften. We are just cutting them, cleaning them, and tossing them in the deep fryer, which is, you know what I mean? If I'm shopping around for different recipes, that is speaking my language. Just throw everything in a hot pot of oil and then eat, just like the pilgrims intended. Let's put all these in a little sieve. Do you know what a sieve is? Sieve is a leakage port. And when I was playing high school baseball, one of my teammates used to call me the sieve every time I let a ball go by. And it was just such a violently accurate insult that I've carried it with me to, to this day and moment. So yeah, that one hurt. Anyway, if you're a catcher, don't let the ball go by you. Just, you know what I mean? Don't let the ball go by you. Otherwise you're gonna be dealing with it in your thirties. We're gonna let the Totskis dry out a little bit and um, cause we don't want them even a little bit wet when we deep fry them because water and oil, although they look like siblings, they really don't agree much on things. Actually, that they would be siblings because they don't agree on anything. Water and oil are probably siblings because you can't put them together, otherwise they fight, but they're, they're both like watery and liquid, you know, and they both taste pretty good. I love the taste of water. This, co this episode of episode is brought to you by water. Use code Julian at your local watering hole and hopefully you don't fall in and you get 20% back when you pee it out later. Wait a minute, no, no, no. No, this isn't a survival show. Don't drink your pee chat. <laughs> chat. Let's see the recipe. It's on copycat.com. Heat oil in deep fryer to 350 degrees, okay? We haven't done that yet. Wash and peel potatoes, cut potatoes half inch to the curb. Okay, we cut the potatoes, rinse the potatoes, pat dry with paper towel. We're doing that. Oh, we gotta make our flour mixture. All righty, BRB gonna go get some flour. You know what else is a flour mixture? A bouquet. That is why we're in the kitchen. All right, half a cup of flour. Oh, I didn't include the spices in the ingredients list. Sorry about that. I, I just figured you would know that, that we're cooking with spices. You know what I mean? It's gonna be spicy. So we need garlic, onion powder, paprika, cayenne pepper. So we're just gonna do some spice mixture additions here for the flour mixture. And this is what we're gonna coat the potatoes in. Oh, how much cayenne? Oop, that's too much. It'll just be a little extra spicy, that's fine. This is what we're gonna coat the little pieces of potatoes in before we deep fry them because we need some flavor on these puppies. They are the main attraction for these tacos, okay? They need to steal the show and not return it. So we need some crying greyhound noises and full half teaspoon of garlic and onion powder. Beautiful. So now we don't have just plain flour. We have delicious flavored flour. You can't see it. It's possible that you can hear it. There is a tiny Italian greyhound walking at my feet right now, just observing every move that we are making. So shouts out if you have the same situation going on. That is our sous chef. They go down there. Mine is also uh, very good at taste testing stuff and screaming at me in the morning when she wants to wake up. Good job. You'll get some potato tacos. Psych. I don't think dogs know what psych means. Okay, flour mixture is all one, I think it's probably time to just fry these puppies up. You know what I mean? This, this, this recipe is like, it's no nonsense, no fuss, okay? Coat the potatoes, fry the potatoes, ingest the potatoes. All right, I'm going to just very organized and calculated and, you know, aesthetically dry these potatoes. We just gotta dry these potatoes with some paper towels so that they don't cause too much of a scene when we drop them into the deep fryer. I guess having them be a tiny bit 
like moist is okay because it, they need to accept the flour mixture. And if they're completely dry, I feel like that might not work as well, but I, I don't know. What do I know? You know what I mean? I just work here. These potatoes feel fairly dry and save that for later. And we'll take our super professional uh, measuring slash restaurant style storage kit that definitely has been perfectly cleaned. And we're gonna coat all these in the flour mixture to kind of get them ready. Toss them in there. I suppose using a round shaped bowl would have been more ideal for the mixing process, but I'm not a mathematician. I don't know if you knew that. A little bit more seasoning. Oh yeah, this is nice. They are really seasoned. These potatoes are gonna be delicious. By the way, I hope you have a little bit of time here because we are deep frying these for 10 to 12 minutes. That might be the longest deep frying session I've ever had. They are gonna get comfortable in that pot. And while that's happening, we can just kind of watch as they turn delicious, you know? God, I'm already out of breath. What do we do now? Oh, let's get the heat machine. Heat machine is out. The pot that we will be deep frying in is out. <gasps> Chill, 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 chill. Is it time? Is it, is it deep frying time? Yeah, it's deep frying time. Let's get hot and oily and hopefully avoid injuries. But if we do get injured, it's okay because the best medicine for a third degree burn is a DIY copycat spicy potato taco. Coming right up. Take two of these in the morning. All right, we need to hydrate and let's fill this pot up. Maybe, shoot, maybe like a third of the way. Nah, like like a fourth or an eighth or a 16th or a 30, 30th tooth. And let's turn this on. And let's get this cooking to a lot of degrees. We might, we might have to do this in batches. There's a lot of potatoes. It's like rule one of frying potatoes is don't fry too much at once. Otherwise the oil gets cold and then it's just the weirdest bath you've ever seen. Also, are these tortillas gonna be too big for a taco? I'm, I'm uh, very new to uh, soft tacos made with flour tortillas. Like is this, this is huge, right? But it's also too small for a burrito. Maybe it is good. Let's see. I don't know. I feel like it's probably fine. I was thinking maybe I cut out the edges, you know, give it a little haircut. Uh, also, while this is frying, we'll have a chance to put together our sauce. Also, we need lettuce. That's in the fridge. Didn't show that yet. I've done this before. We're fine. Oh, and limes. <laughs> I didn't bring anything out. Don't mind me. First cooking video ever, be easy. You guys play the fruit game yet? Anyone, anyone here get 3000 points yet? Cause I absolutely haven't. That was close. So this is gonna be for our sauce that we make. Look at that. Hold on. Sorry, was that worth it? Kind of burned myself. This is really hot. We gotta get our thermometer. Wait, that's actually, don't do that. That could cause dead pixels in your camera. I really shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, don't do that. It'll also cause dead pixels in your eyes. So don't do that either. Uh, let's see. 271, oh my God, this got hot so fast. These are gonna be really good actually. Taco Bell is not gonna know what hit them because they don't watch this. They're not gonna know about it at all. 305, Dale, 314, oh damn, it's scooting. Around the edges, it gets hotter faster, like the center takes a little while to get hot. So sometimes I just like to take my hand and stir the oil so that it gets like a nice little kind of whirlpool. Mixes the heat nicely. I think we're gonna have to do batches. I think if I do all those potatoes at once, we are gonna be dealing with some cold oil. Cold oil. Sounds like a good band name. My eyes are up here. Check our temps. Oh, it's 388. Got too hot. Here we go. Time to cook, baby. Uh, what utensil? Uh, this is probably fine. Wood's probably fine. Let's see what the temperature is now. Yeah, it definitely got a little cooler. So we made a good call splitting up the, the Potoskis. Anyway, this is, this is gonna deep fry for quite a while. Wait, we need a timer. Hey Google, timer, five years. 12 minutes. She's like, no, for real. Like for real, what do you need? I'm fucking tired. And let's start cooking our, not cooking, but let's start preparing our um, delicious, Sauce, the spicy chipotle sauce is what this is. This is kind of distracting. Could you quiet down, man? Okay, so we need to blend these peppers. It says one to two chipotle peppers. So I'm gonna do three. 
because I'm a rebel. I think I could just like smash them a little bit. You know, I could just like mash them in there and they'd be fine. Okay, I think I have a masher. Masher, I just mutter. Oh, it's here. Oh yeah. If you have a, a muddler, I think that's what this is called for cocktails. Don't worry, you can put this to use today. Put it on your chipotle peppers. And also it, it it's like a cutting board or no, it's like a cast iron pan. It flavors the muddler, the bet muddler. So next time you use it on a margarita, say, you'll just taste chipotle peppers. Okay, this looks good. Hopefully I did it right. I don't know. It's just like kind of horrible looking. All right, so also we are gonna need for our sauce, fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder and fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, similar to what we did in the flour mixture. Okay, I also need salt and pepper. Sorry, this is kind of awkward because there's just like hot oil between us, but I'm still here with you. You know, there's just a literal safety hazard between us. But other than that, there's no distance. It's just like it used to be. I'm not measuring this. That's about, that's about right, I think. Then we need half a teaspoon of salt, which I don't even know if I have in here. That should do it. Need to refill that. We need half a cup of sour cream. So let's do that. All right, half a cup. Looks like the whole freaking thing, actually. It's literally like the whole container. All right, good. Two teaspoons of freshly squeezed lime. Just gonna eyeball that. This lime is being stubborn. It either doesn't have that much juice in it or it just doesn't, doesn't wanna hang out with us today. Remember, you can always add more lime. You cannot take lime away because I did not purchase a delimifier. Shrugs. You ever put too much lime in your food? Introducing the delimifier. It's just a guy. He's gonna put his fingers all over your food trying to get the lime out. He has a 40% success rate and he requires a lot of maintenance and he only eats fish food. Can I have $300 for lunch? I'm feeling really fancy. <laughs> okay. Um, this is kind of what it's looking like. It actually looks pretty delicious. This is our chipotle sauce. So we haven't finished it yet. We still need to add a little bit of mayo, which we're gonna use our Kewpie mayo for. It says a fourth a cup. It feels like a lot. I'm just gonna eyeball it. That's probably enough. This actually looks like one of the best aiolis I've ever made in my life. These potatoes are looking like almost done, I feel like. Shoot, are they done? Uh-oh, oh no. Where's the wire rack? I lost the wire rack. Oh, it's over here, I think. Yes, I kind of feel like these are almost done. They're looking like real brown and it says cook till golden brown. So like, I'm nervous to overcook them. I actually kind of like how the chipotle sauce has a little bit of texture to it because I didn't fully blend the uh, peppers. I kind of like that. Now let's try. Uh, it needs work. Maybe some adobo sauce. It just needs more zhuzh. Add some adobo sauce. We'll see, maybe that'll do it. Um, I'm gonna use my amazing giant sieve ladle and I'm gonna remove these a little early. Yeah, a few minutes early. I felt like it was time. They feel golden brown enough. Also this sauce situation could come back to bite me because I just have a bias towards QP mayo, but maybe since this isn't an Asian flavor profile, we could be shooting ourselves in the potato foot, but only one way to find out, I guess, which, it already tastes fine. It just needs a little help, okay. The potatoes are screaming for their lives. I don't know if you can hear it. Okay, I'm gonna put the second batch in. How long has it been? Can we try these potatoes? Oh. Yum. Literally delicious. They're fried potatoes. What, what could go wrong? Besides maybe a house fire. Let's try this again. The adobo sauce is so good. I'm gonna add more. Oh my God. I love adobo sauce. Look, I learned how to do the little heart. Isn't this how you do it? How shocked would you be if one day I was here cooking and I just backflipped? Let me know in the comments how quickly you'd unsub if I did that and I'll uh, start going to backflip school. All right, gotta stir in the last little bit of adobo sauce because I'm extra and I'm Kind of need just a little bit more spice in this. Sauce was tasting a little bit plain, flying around in the skies at 32,000 feet, but now it's got a li little bit more depth to it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's delicious. I also said screw the timer for the second batch because I think we can just eyeball the potatoes. We can just look at them. Ayo, hey, potato. Hey, girl, you potato? Because you, you look delicious. 
I was gonna say boiled in oil, but don't don't tell people they were boiled in oil. Hey Google, stop now and forever. Oh, science, this the can of fire, fire air is really cold, but the fire's really hot. And that is because covalent bonds sometimes are in the heart of the membrane, the square root. So we needed to clear the area because this is now our prep spot, okay? Uh, we will be preparing our tacos right here. We have our little bit of lettuce. I'm gonna wash this because I do not trust lettuce. So we moved the deep frying potatoes, second string potatoes to the back burner so we can um, Start prepping our tortilla. I'm gonna put this over an open flame. That's how I like to prep tortillas. And if you don't wanna get yelled at by a nearby Mexican mother, do not use a utensil to flip these. Do it with your hand, speaking from experience. A lot of people have yelled at me actually. Just a couple of times to get it kind of warmed up. It actually helps a lot more with gluten-free tortillas because they need help. Get help, get help, and maybe think about getting some gluten in your life. Got some burn spots on that, that's looking good. Potatoes are looking good. I'm going to cut the heat there, all right? Tortilla's looking absolutely fine. Always remember to turn off the burner though. Not speaking from experience, just figured you might need that. Okay, one thing on the burner at a time, otherwise you forget and then everything catches fire. Hopefully I'm not dripping oil. Okay, both tortillas are good. Now let's do this. Wow, this is hot. Even the handle is hot. Too hot to handle. The handle is too hot to handle. Perfect golden brown potatoes, looking good. My hand is maybe burning a little bit, but you know, we gotta, gotta get the shot. Age before beauty, goat cheese, is what we say around here. And boom, we basically did it. Let's start assembling our spicy potato tacos from Taco Bell. Hi, welcome to Taco Bell. Here's some fire. So again, this feels like too big of a tortilla for a taco, but let's get cooking. I don't care, I just work here. I'm not gonna read the instructions. I'm just gonna start. So I'm gonna do a little aioli, maybe a little more, cause it's all about the sauce. You know, just life in general, it's all about the sauce. These tacos are big, so they need a good amount of aioli. And let's just, with our bare hands, just start sprinkling on some taters, cause we need them to survive. Oh, the potatoes are making a really almost ASMR noise. We'll do a little bit of um, ched. Oh, that's looking good. A little bit of lettuce for some refreshing texture and moisture. And last, and sort of least, we're gonna use these two puppies to stay on theme, okay? Let's read their, their jokes. Hot, of course I will. Um, Diablo, always the plan. Wait, is there a punchline to these or is... Am I not funny? I don't get it. Okay, little hot sauce. Look at these. Mmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then the Diablo on the other one. And there we have it. We have our Taco Bell spicy potato tacos. Made, ready to go into your mouth at any point. Here you go, double taco bite. I don't wanna taco about it. All right, let's try it. Any minders if I try this? Oh my God. Bro, that is, oh my God, that is spectacular. Holy, what the hell? Yo, I gotta say, not the sexiest looking food. It's kind of messy on the plate. Doesn't matter. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm tasting so much like heat from the adobo, but it's not overpowering. The potatoes are perfectly crispy and like pillowy inside. Potatoes are so special, man. Mm. Oh my God, that is incredible. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's incredible. 11 out of 10, definitely actually needs this, even just for familiarity. Most of the time when I make copycat foods, like the Oreos, Lay's chips, Arby's fries, which was horrible and cursed. It tastes good, but it doesn't taste the same. Something about putting the Taco Bell branded hot sauce on it really brings it home. And by brings it home, I mean brings it into your mouth and then somewhere else after. But we don't have to worry about that. We just eat and then we live in baby. I, I just wanna eat this whole thing. This is surprising. Oh my God, it's so good. Because it's good and it's good. Anyway, now it's time for me to Decide if I wanna clean up now or never. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed watching me make these copycat potato tacos from Taco Bell. If you didn't enjoy it, 
give me exactly a reason why down below. And if it's a valid reason, I might delete your comment. <laughs> Just kidding. Do what you want, but thank you for watching. And also thank you for the patience of me not posting for a while and then coming back. Appreciate y'all. Also, and let me know what, you know, you maybe want to see for future cooking videos. I have some ideas on the back burner simmering. So let me simmer, let me cook. I'm working on stuff, but I'm happy to be back. It feels good. It feels really good to be back right here where I'm standing. And uh, I really still do enjoy making cooking videos. So I appreciate you watching and tuning in. I'll see you on the next one, which I promise will not be in four months. That is a promise. And I've never broken a promise. I've never lied. I've never even talked to another human in my life. So yes, I'll see you next time here in the kitchen or on stream, depending on where you're at. Hope you're having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, here's the thing. A potato starts as a piece of grass and then out sprouts six little French fries from the ground. And where would we be as a society without French fries? So just a little bit of water and a little bit of dirt and patience, and hopefully your day will turn around just like a French fries does. Oh my God. Okay, we'll take our super professional. <laughs> so yes, I'll see you next year.